Welcome to the Christmas edition of Logistics People Talk, the official Renus podcast for everyone who wants to stay up to date on logistics. Presented by Gwen Dünner and Andrea Goretzky. Uh, hey, Andrea. Where were the blue and white Christmas baubles again? Right cupboard, third shelf from the bottom. There, the plastic tree is set up. Uh, and while you're at the cupboard, don't forget the glittery deer family. <sighs> yes, yes. Um, are you keeping some old books in here? This one looks kind of antique. That's not mine. What kind of book? Here, look. The title is really faded. A logistics Christmas miracle. Pff, what is this supposed to be? The air is crystal clear on this bone-chillingly cold December night. High above the sleepy villages with their snowy glistening roofs, a shiny red and gold sleigh shoots across the sky, as if on invisible rails. It is pulled by nine powerful reindeer, accompanied by the bright tinkling of bells on their harnesses. At the very front, illuminated by the glow of his red nose, Rudolf leads the formation. Suddenly, an explosive sneeze resonates. Rudolf rears up and a jolt goes through the entire sleigh. Even the bearded pilot in his red coat recoils in shock. Ho, oh, Rudolf, easy does it. Father Christmas calms the animal and pulls on the reins, only to have his reindeer speed up again immediately afterwards. The sleigh speeds away and the night is quiet, as if nothing had happened. But wait, what is that? Lying in the snow on the loading ramp in front of a logistics warehouse. It's a parcel that has fallen unnoticed from the sleigh. A few hours later, before sunrise, footsteps creak through the snow and pause in front of the parcel. A man in a blue work outfit adorned with a white logo bends down and inspects the lost property. The package seems hand-wrapped in colorful Christmas paper. On the ribbon hangs a small card with the inscription Matilda Shaw, Greenhouse at the end of Valentine's Avenue, Johannesburg, South Africa. The warehouse worker creases his brows. He picks up the parcel and takes it into the warehouse. He crosses the rows of shelves, filled with boxes and pallets of all shapes and sizes, and enters his office, where he sits down at the computer and begins to research. Hmm, that's a strange address. Perplexed, he looks at the world map on the wall. From Eisenach to Johannesburg? That's quite a challenge. Smiling, he looks down at the package. How lucky you ended up at Renus. We can manage that. Without further hesitation, the logistics expert gets to work and searches the warehouse management system for a shipment that also has South Africa as a destination. It only takes a few moments until he finds a suitable order and adds the parcel to the packing list. He then stows the special cargo on the already prepared pallet along with the other consignment goods. Soon after, the shipment is picked up by the truck. After a good two-hour drive, the pallet containing the package wrapped in Christmas paper arrives at Frankfurt Airport. At the location in the cargo city south, an employee of Renus Freight Logistics accepts the pallet and looks at the packing list. Ah yes, this consignment is also going to Johannesburg along with our weekly air freight console. Before the consignment can make its way to South Africa, however, the obligatory security checks and customs procedures are on the agenda. The goods on the pallet from Eisenach, which have meanwhile found a place in one of the shiny aluminium air freight containers, are also pushed through the X-ray machine, and the packing list is checked against all the information regarding the contents. To speed up handling in South Africa, the employee sends a digital copy of the packing list to her colleagues at OR Tambo Airport before the flight takes off. With the help of this pre-clearing, the console can be handed over directly for delivery in Johannesburg. The employee smiles with satisfaction as the packed air freight container disappears into the belly of the plane. Ten and a half hours later, touchdown at OR Tambo Airport, Johannesburg. 
From the tarmac, the silver container is transported to the Rhenus Johannesburg warehouse, where the console is split up and the goods are prepared for onward shipment. All the goods, except for the small package in the pretty wrapping. This is handed over to the colleagues at Rhenus Express, who are responsible for the delivery of B2C shipments. As he hands it over to his colleagues, the air freight employee points out, very important, there was a note about this parcel in the packing list. It absolutely has to be delivered today. I'm counting on you guys. The colleagues nod to each other. Of course, it'll go out today. The 24th of December, 7.45 p.m. Johannes Kumalo is on his last delivery tour before the Christmas holidays. Only one more package is waiting to be handed over. Slowly, the white express Becky makes its way through the streets of the metropolis. Johannes looks at his touch screen and marks the address. Matilda Shaw, 88 Valentine's Avenue. He has to search a bit, but eventually he finds the greenhouse at the end of the street. It is hidden behind an acacia grove. He pulls over to the side of the road and gets out to get the package from the back. On his way to the gate, he sees the face of a little girl through the lit living room window. When he waves to her, she beams with joy and is gone the next moment. Johannes rings the bell at the Shaw family gate, but before the ringing has stopped, Matilda is already running towards him. Is that for me? she asks excitedly. Johannes looks at the delivery note and replies a little puzzled. Ah, uh, yes, and this is apparently a very special delivery. Matilda's mother, who has followed her daughter, opens the front gate. Carefully, Johannes hands the package to Matilda. Her eyes light up as she reads the return address. Santa Claus at the Santa Claus main post office, Arctic Circle, Finland. She stares at Johannes in disbelief. Well, every now and then even Santa needs the help of a reliable logistics professional, Johannes replies with a wink. Matilda's mother signs his tablet and Johannes wishes them both a Merry Christmas as they leave. With a contented sigh, Johannes gets back behind his wheel. Full of anticipation, he is already thinking about the dinner that will soon be waiting for him at home. Just as he is about to turn the key in the ignition, he is briefly blinded by oncoming headlights. He holds a hand up to shield his eyes and tries to make out something. Johannes can hardly believe his eyes. A sleigh is coming towards him, pulled by nine reindeer. At its head shines the bright light of a reindeer nose. Speechless, he leans out of the window to get a better look. At the front of the sleigh sits Father Christmas laughing. As the sleigh passes Johannes, Santa raises up his arm. Awestruck and proud at the same time, Johannes high-fives him. He can't believe what just happened when he hears the snap of the reins behind him. In the rearview mirror, he sees the sleigh rise into the air with a jerk and disappear into the night sky. Gosh, Gren, that's a really cool story. We definitely have to make something out of this. Andrea, I've still got goosebumps. What do you think about making this into a podcast? Yes, and the moral of the story, certified logistics, Santa approved. <laughs> <laughs> Renus wishes everyone a wonderful Advent season and a Merry Christmas. Stay healthy and take care. This was the Christmas edition of Logistics People Talk, the Renus podcast. And for more logistics stories, subscribe to us wherever you listen to podcasts. All the best from Andrea Goretsky and Gwen Dunner. <laughs> <laughs>